If you guys don't know by now, I travel all the time for work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop for you five things you need to do if you're gonna travel while keto. start off if you are catching a plane and it's in the afternoon or no matter what time it is you need to eat big before you bounce don't leave the house without eating a large high fat breakfast that will hold you over until the end of your flight right and if you do get hungry you got to come prepared and that leads me to number two number two you got to pack some keto snacks you can't just go in there hoping that the flight attendant's gonna have something for you when all they have is Biscoff cookies and pretzels and some other stuff that you can buy with all kinds of carbs. So what you need to do is pack yourself some keto snacks. Go with some pork rinds, go with some nut butters or something like that. You can even pack hard boiled eggs, although that's not cool to the person next to you. Uh, some salami, something like that to hold you over while you are on the flight. And number three, Drink water, beat the heat. No, so that's old school. Uh, if you're not in the army or in the military, you don't know what that is. But anyways, okay, you gotta drink water. You gotta stay hydrated because that's gonna help you have that full feeling, right? So drink coffee, drink water, just drink non-carb drinks in order to keep yourself feeling satisfied, all right? And then, Number four, while you're out there in the road, I'm gonna tell you people, order what the you want, okay? So when you go into a restaurant, and if you want uh, two chicken breasts with some ranch on top with cheese and a pile of broccoli, order what you want. They will figure out how to make that for you. Don't worry if you're looking at the menu and then you, you feel bad because it's you, what you want is not on the menu modify it how you want and they will accommodate you that's one of the beauties of eating out is that they're supposed to accommodate you right so master eating out and order what you want as well as when you're out go to a place if you're worried about tracking go to a place that is a chain or that's very familiar so you know it's on carb manager or my fitness pal which i use if you go to Texas Roadhouse or somewhere like that, avoid the rolls with the cinnamon butter, but when you order the steak and you order the sides, you know how much it's going to be. So eat somewhere that is familiar to you. Master eating out and order what you want, okay? And then number five, last but not least, is no retreat, no surrender. Once you decided that you were going to roll keto, roll keto and stay on plan, right? Everybody comes up with all these excuses all the time, right? If you have a plan to have a carb day, say in a month from now, I'm good with that. I'm gonna have one soon too. But what I'm saying is, if you roll into somewhere and you say you're gonna stay keto and then you don't stay keto, don't beat yourself up but that's still not okay, all right? No retreat, no surrender. Everyone's got all these excuses. I'm living my best life. If you thought living your best life was eating all that stuff that you weren't supposed to be eating, why'd you decide to go live a healthier life? Now, you gotta stay on plan, guys. Just don't go off eating willy-nilly, nilly-willy, whenever you want to. Just find yourself some keto snacks, some high-fat, moderate-protein foods, Get satisfied and you'll be glad that you didn't cheat. Don't be mad. I'm not hating on you. I'm not saying beat yourself up. But the goal is to stay on plan and not make excuses talking about, I'm going to do me. Don't worry about what I'm going to do. I am worried about you and I want you to succeed and I want you to really live your best life. All right? Oh, I also forgot to show you after I got done eating my Jimmy John's that I got, a uh, low carb snack on which um, I did stop at Walmart to pick up a few things. So let me show you really quick what I got. 
I'm only gonna be here for a few days. And the room that I'm in right now does not have a refrigerator. So I couldn't get some of the things I usually like to get to throw into the fridge to snack on. But I did get some Max Crackling Curls, the spicy. I have not had these kind. I'll let you guys know how it is, but it is for, um, this is a, a large bag with 11 servings, but it's five grams of fat, zero carbs, seven grams of protein. So I'm gonna try these out, let you guys know. I heard that uh, Max were like the best cracklings, but we'll see. I also got some more Max. These are the salt and pepper flavor, but this one has less than one gram of carb per container, this or per uh, serving. There's 10 servings in this container. So I'll let you guys know on that too. Also, I'm on a little bit of a higher uh, protein form of keto. So I did go ahead and grab some of these Equate, can you, there you go. These Equate, that's the uh, Walmart brand of uh, protein shakes. So it is three grams of fat, uh, five total carbs with two net carbs and then 30 grams of protein once again with these and then I just found these I've never had them before but I picked them up and once again if I get that sweet craving these are some uh, covered almonds this is the cinnamon roll flavor and for these per serving there are three servings in this bag. Per serving, it is 16 grams of fat. You can't even see me. Sorry. No, you. Picture me. Picture me rolling. All right. So 16 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, and there are three net carbs in these. So three net carbs and these cinnamon roll flavored almonds. In fact, I might try these right now while we're on camera. I'm just going to open these. And these are by Optimum Nutrition. This is what they look like. Oh, yeah. Yo, not on front. These are pretty tasty. But be careful with these because, like I said, it is three net carbs per serving. But that is five total, or I'm sorry, 15 total carbs, right? Minus the two grams of fiber and 10 grams of sugar alcohol, right? And what are the sugar alcohol in these? Ooh, I can't even find it. Oh, see. It has maltitol, right? Maltitol in this. So you got to be careful as you are, um, and that's on the coating because maltitol can, and actually not can, it will spike your blood sugar. All right. So would I recommend these to somebody who is trying to lose a bunch of weight? No, I wouldn't, right? But for me, I'm not necessarily trying to cut fat right now but this will spike your blood sugar they are tasty um the net carbs are low is it gonna kill you absolutely absolutely not but um would i buy these again Eh, probably not they're a good try though all right cinnamon roll flavor they also had a chocolate flavor flavor so you might want to i didn't see what the uh, sugar alcohol were on that but if you want to try something like a covered almond you might want to look for another brand but if you find these they are tasty. If you don't mind the blood sugar spike, you can go ahead and try them. Oh, I did get a jug of water too, because like I said, you gotta stay hydrated.